This video shows you how to share a VoiceThread that you've already created with your class. So this process is really pretty simple. Basically, you're going to go back to VoiceThread and be sure that you're on the VoiceThread homepage. So in the upper left corner, just to be sure, click on VT Home. And if you do not see this panel on the left, you'll want to click on this icon with the three dots and bars. Okay, so if I click there now, it will go away. If I click again, it comes back. Why that's important is because VoiceThread sets up your class as a group. So under groups, you may have just one group listed or you may have many. It all depends on how many groups you are or have been a part of. So here's the VoiceThread that I want to share. And here is the class or the group that I want to share it with. Here's how I do it. I click on the voice thread with my mouse and drag it to the sidebar on top of the group that I want to share it with. And then I let go. A box will open that will confirm the group you are sharing it with. And it will also ask you what kinds of options you want the members of that group to have. So for example, if you just wanted them to view it but not leave comments, you would click view. If you wanted them to be able to edit or add slides to the voice thread, you would click edit. I'm going to click view and comment because I want the other members of my class to be able to see my voice thread and leave comments on it. Now I just click share. In the upper right corner, you see the green indication that the voice thread has been shared with the group. Now I can click on that group and see the voice thread that I just shared. That's all.